A five-year-old finds and then fires a loaded handgun in Auburn. Police are investigating a tragic death on a Defiance County farm. And an Avila man escapes an explosion at his home with only minor injuries. I'm Woody Zimmerman. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Why pay more in the city when you can buy for less in the country at Case Beer Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Bryant, Ohio. Start saving today at CaseBeerMotor.com. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Who's Your Ohio News Channel. Police in Auburn are investigating an incident in which a five-year-old boy fired a handgun. No one was injured in the incident, which happened on Saturday morning. The gun was found on Rom Drive just south of the Auburn Walmart store, and police are trying to find out who left it there. Police said that a group of young children found the loaded handgun there, and one of them fired the weapon into the air. Investigators are still trying to determine who left the gun there in the first place. Anyone who may know anything about this incident is asked to call Detective Phil Snover with the Auburn PD at 920-3200, extension 1923. Police in Defiance County were called to a scene of a tragic accident on a local farm this past weekend. It happened on Saturday morning when investigators were called to the farm in Adams Township. They say that 40-year-old David Carbon was run over by a pickup truck that was being driven by a 15-year-old relative. The boy accidentally backed over the man while the two were moving items out of a barn that was located on the property. The boy lost control of the truck striking Carbon, who was pronounced dead at the scene by the Defiance County coroner. And a villa man was injured when something caused an oxygen canister in his home to ignite and explode over the weekend. It happened on Sunday evening when the man, whose name was not released, was watching TV and the fire erupted. The resulting explosion set the home in the 6800 block of East 100 North ablaze. Firefighters had to contend with the danger of ammunition that was present in the burning house and problems getting water to the lines. The fire was declared under control in just about an hour. The man who was inside the home at the time of the fire sustained only minor injuries. He was treated at the scene and released. Commissioners in Noble County have approved the purchase of a new ambulance to be used as part of the county's EMS system. The rescue unit carries a price tag of $120,000 and the board voted unanimously in favor of the purchase. A published report said that the funds for the new rig were budgeted when the county drew up its economic development income tax plan. Although the actual cost of the new ambulance exceeds the amount budgeted by $5,000, a one-month cost reduction in services from Parkview Health was enough to cover the budget shortfall. An Auburn, or the Auburn Fire Department rather, is looking for a few good Explorer Scouts. If you're between the ages of 14 and 21 and have completed 8th grade, you are eligible. The Fire Department will hold an open house tonight beginning at 7 o'clock at Fire Station Number 2 on South Grandstaff here in Auburn. It's free to join the program, which is open to young men and young women. Those who, uh, can, or those who participate rather, can learn about the Fire Department and get hands on training on fire safety and firefighting techniques. Scouts meet for about 90 minutes every other Tuesday. You can learn more by coming out to tonight's open house or by contacting Deputy Fire Chief Mike Good at 925-8255 extension 1502. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, you can email us at who's your Ohio news at gmail.com. I'm Woody Zimmerman. Have a wonderful day.